So I recently got back from attending Google I.O. 2024 and it was an absolutely amazing experience. From the keynotes, demos, workshops, and dialogues, there was something for everyone and a lot of learning involved. Here's a recap of the whole experience. So the night before day one, there was a welcome reception hosted by the Tech Equity Collective, a Google initiative focused on accelerating black innovation. It was a great space to meet and network with other folks before the main event. Day one of I.O., I woke up and hit the hotel gym. They didn't have a lot of equipment, so I made use of what they had there and did some bodyweight exercises. The hotel was around 20 minutes away from the Shoreline Amphitheater, which is where the event took place. There was a shuttle to transport people to that location every 15 minutes. When I got there, there was a long queue to get in. This was the most inconveniencing part of the whole event, but it was understandable because they were doing security checks, checking bags and making sure everything was safe. Once I got through security, everything flowed properly. There were folks all around to answer questions and give directions. Breakfast and coffee were served on a grab-and-go model. The first event of the day was the keynote. 30 minutes before it started, Mark Riblet, a popular YouTuber and DJ, came out to warm the crowd. Google! He did some freestyle and also created some loops using Music FX DJ, Google AI-powered DJ. It was pretty interesting to see AI being used in ways that I hadn't thought of. 10 a.m. sharp, the CEO of Google, Sundai Pachai, walked out and began the keynote. I'm not going to go over what they announced because you can find that elsewhere, but let's just say AI isn't coming, it's already here, and the faster you come to terms with it, the sooner you can start leveraging it to build some awesome things. I'll be making a separate video on that soon, so stay tuned. After the two hour long keynote, something wild happened. On my way out of the venue, two security folks walked up to me and asked if I wanted to meet Sundai Pachai. Apparently, when I scanned my badge, my name was flagged in the system. He had heard about Uma codes and all the videos I created and wanted to have a word with me. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. Um, but I got you. I, I did get you. And I'm fucking with you. Back to the video. After the keynote was lunch, everything was packaged nicely and all you had to do was walk up and pick what you wanted from the menu. There was also a DJ playing different genres of music throughout lunch. The vibes were chill and people were dancing. After lunch was the developer keynote where they announced a few features like the new Firebase Data Connects, AI developer tools and more. After that, there were a ton of other smaller presentations and workshops where you could get hands-on and code along with the developers. I attended this one where the presenter showed how to automate workspace tasks using Gemini. It was very insightful. Day one ended with a block party which I didn't attend because I was exhausted, but from what I heard, it was pretty good. Alright, next, day two. Day two started off the same way for me with a quick workout at the gym and a ride to the conference ground from the hotel. Like day one, breakfast was served in a grab-and-go format. There were several spaces at the event designed in an open fashion with benches everywhere for people to sit and work or network with others. It was very, very thought out. There was also a container of sunscreen on each table so people wouldn't get turned burnt. Day two mostly consisted of breakout sessions and workshops. There were hands-on workshops, demos, and presentations to learn how to leverage Gemini and other AI models to build products. They were divided into cloud, mobile, web, and AI. My first stop of the day was at a panel where I heard from leaders in the AI space about what's going on under the hood with AI. It was insightful to hear from these leaders about where they see AI in the future and other applications. The next stop was at a community event by the Tech Equity Collective where we heard from some Googlers about their experience working at Google and working with AI in general. Very inspiring stories and awesome backgrounds. Next was lunch and after that, I went to some product demos to learn how products can be built on top of Gemini. They showed the prompts they were using and how everything was connected and to be honest, it wasn't as complicated as I thought. The majority of the heavy lifting was in the prompts. Once you figure that out, the rest of it is just regular software development. This has completely shifted my view on AI as a whole. I have a lot of interesting ideas to try out. My favorite part of the whole conference was the AI sandbox, which was a station full of some cool AI demos you could try out yourself. I tried out the penalty kick challenge where you had three attempts to kick a penalty kick into one of the boxes in the corner. Videos of your shot attempts were taken by phone cameras stationed around the venue and those shots were sent to Gemini and it graded you based on power, accuracy and style. After the kick, you could also get personalized coaching and feedback from Gemini in the voice and tone of a soccer coach. You could also get your picture and your scorecard in a picture theme generated by Imagine2, Google's AI image generator. It was super, super fun and interesting. 
There was also a music DJ booth to play around with, Project Astra, and much more. Overall, the conference was amazing. Every single aspect was thought out and planned properly. There were snacks and drink stations all over the ground so people wouldn't get dehydrated or hungry. It was the perfect amount of tech, fun, learning, networking, and innovation. It has also completely shifted the way I view AI and large language models. As I said, I'll be making a video on that soon, so be sure to stay subscribed and follow so you don't miss it.